How long does it take to learn the planche? That is probably the most common question that people ask when they're getting into calisthenics. In today's video, I'm going to answer that as well as talk about some ways that you can train for planche to learn it a little bit quicker. So I will start the video by answering the question, how long does it take to learn the planche in wow, less than one minute? And the answer is simply, it depends. There's a lot of different factors that influence how long it's going to take a certain person to learn planche. For example, height. If you are shorter, planche is going to be a little bit easier to learn than somebody who is taller. However, that does not mean that planche is impossible if you are tall. I get messages all the time from people saying like, hi there, I'm five foot nine. What are some realistic goals I can set for learning planche? And I just delete these messages and I really don't like these questions because you shouldn't let your height dictate how far you can go. If you're thinking of your height as a barrier, then yes, it's going to limit you. But if you just go and you train with the mindset that I can be just as good as somebody who's shorter, then you probably will make a lot of progress and do really well. An example I wanna give is a shout out to Gadji Yadarov. Now, I'm not quite sure how seriously he's still training, but there was a period in, Oh, Gadji's like five foot 10 or something, by the way. I'm not sure what that is in centimeters, but it's, it's pretty tall. From maybe 2018 to like 2021, Gadji was really, really good. He finished third in Burning Gate, which basically means that Gadji was not good quote unquote, for his height. No, Gadji was just really good. And he shows up to Burning Gate 2019, not with the mindset, oh man, I'm so tall, I'm not gonna be able to do well. But no, he is thinking that he can compete and beat the guys that are shorter than him. So you need to have a good positive mindset if you're going in, uh, if you are on the taller side, you just need to believe in yourself and trust me, you can absolutely do it. And also if you're really going to let your height uh, hinder you so much, then please just go ahead and do another sport because guess what? Basically every other sport, it is to your advantage to be on the taller side. So small height rant out of the way, but it is something that just kind of bugs me. And I just feel like when people are complaining about being tall, it's like they're saying that, oh, if I was your height, I'd be just as good as you. But in reality, if you were my height, you would probably also just make excuses and not even be on my level, even if you were my height. Okay, anyway, the next factor that we're gonna talk about is weight. Of course, if you are lighter, planche is going to be easier because you're lifting your body weight. So a lighter weight is of course easier to lift than a heavier weight. Other thing is like anatomy, genetics. So like length of limbs is going to influence how hard it is, muscle insertions, even things like bone density. Uh, next up, last thing I'm gonna talk about is past experiences. If you have more of a training experience, like you were growing up doing a lot of different sports and stuff, or maybe even have a gymnastics background, then planche is going to be easier to learn than someone who was basically starting from scratch. All right, so those are the main factors. Now let's talk about the a realistic time frame that we can expect to learn this skill in, okay? So I would seriously say, and some people are gonna think this is way too fast, is six months to one year, guys, with hard work and consistency, and you need to make sure that you are really pushing yourself during each session. I got some comments on my last video, the roadmap. Thank you guys so much for the support on that roadmap, by the way. I Thank you so much. I got some comments on that video though, because the example I gave was about a guy learning planche in a year. And some people were saying like, oh, that's way too fast. Like I've been training for three, four years and I still can't do it. Those guys, I just, I, I really question how consistent they've been with their training, how hard they've been pushing themselves and just, what exercises they've even been doing because seriously three or four years of planche training i mean i would assume you could probably do some good form planche pushes for reps and maybe even like start approaching like maltese training seriously like you should be probably pretty good at that point so no nothing against those people but i i seriously do just question their training and i think the biggest thing with it is people are just scared to push themselves you watching this video right now you you are strong and a lot stronger than you think. So you need to make sure that when you're training, you're, you're challenging yourself and you're stepping out of your comfort zone. A great way to do this is by training with attempts. And people love to, to question me on this saying like, I'm just helping people get injured, but please just go watch my recent Instagram videos 
of my plant performance and then decide for yourself if I know what I'm talking about. Attempting the skill is so important because it's the best way to just actually learn how to do it. And it's also really gonna help push you to the next level because it's so hard. You absolutely need to fail. You should fail. If you're not failing, it's too easy and you're just not gonna make that much progress. You need to really, really push yourself. And I'm gonna say that again and so many more times throughout this entire video. And an example of this would be uh, that YouTuber that was always saying like, stay in your comfort zone. And he was basically only training straddle planch and he was stuck in straddle planch for years because he never actually did his full planch. Like guys, training, especially for a skill like planch, it should not be easy. It does not, it's not comfortable. You need to be comfortable being uncomfortable. So really push yourself with the training. Pushing yourself and consistency, those are the two big things. And when we're talking about consistency, I'm saying train maybe four to five times a week for planche. You can do more than that if you're at a higher level. And then if you're kind of just starting, maybe try like three times a week, but four to five times a week for planche is a really good sweet spot. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to talk about a nice training plan that you can use for planche. So like I said in my roadmap video, I highly recommend that you have a good base before you start training for planche. So maybe like three or so months of just training basics, maybe you have a muscle up now and a handstand. I would definitely recommend having a handstand before you start training for planche, okay? Because handstand, it's going to help you with the shoulder strength and also handstand is good to have because a good exercise that I'm gonna be talking about later in the video is a planche negative, which of course requires you to have a handstand first to be able to do it. All right, so step one, like I said, you need a base. Step two is, maybe this contradicts what I said earlier in the video, but step two, start with easier planche exercises. So that's stuff like planche lean, be tuck planche, and pseudo planche push-ups. Don't just start with attempts. I, I like doing the easy exercises first because I think it's a good way to have people build up their confidence and get kind of an idea for what to do. So just start with those. And also those easier exercises are gonna help you build up some things like protraction strength, which will help you. So one thing that you can do, at least what I did when I was learning, is I tried to see how quickly I could level up from tuck to advanced tuck. So start in the tuck and maybe start trying to extend your legs to advanced tuck, planche, start holding there. Once you get into advanced tuck and you've been holding advanced tuck for a couple weeks and starts feeling kind of easy, here's when you can start doing, I guess, like attempts. That would be like starting an advanced tuck and just trying your best to extend your legs to straddle. It doesn't matter if you fall right away. Of course, you're not gonna be good at it. That's the other thing. Again, going on kind of another tangent, but that's the other thing. People expect to be good. <laughs> just right away. It's like, no, you gotta really put in the time, you gotta train, you gotta suck, and then you'll be good. I've been training for eight years, guys, and I have my planche level now after tons of just failing and have no, and just bad sets, but that is how I got to where I am because I failed so much with this skill. So yeah, advanced talk to straddle, just try it again. If you don't hold it, whatever, who cares? Uh, you'll try it again the next day and probably fail again. <laughs> but you know, you're making progress and you're learning as you do that. Try that. At this point, you can start kind of messing around with bands, maybe even play with negatives and stuff. But that's the, that's the big thing, guys. It's really just attempts, band-assisted holds, negatives, and then some sort of push-up variation. Those are really the big four main planche exercise that you need to do. And everything else, not gonna lie, is kind of BS. Like for example, the uh, what I've heard people call the lost planche progressions, like which is uh, frog straddle or whatever the heck. Um, nonsense, seriously. Uh, just just stick with what I told you guys. Oh, halfway is also really, really good too, but I, I consider halfway to be kind of just a progress, like a progression also. Yeah guys, that's pretty much all we have. Once again, to reiterate, it's attempts, spans, negatives, and some sort of push of variation, and you just need to be consistent with that, and it's it's a grind, guys, I know, but you need to be patient. It, it, I know it's hard. Uh, I've, I've dealt with it, I've been through it. Uh, other people that have trained the skill, you can you can ask. I actually challenge you guys, I don't know, now I don't know if these guys will respond, but just message, you can message a high level athlete and you can ask them just what their journey's been like and how many fails they've had doing it. Cause I guarantee you, like myself, all the other high level planters sucked at one point and failed 
a ton. So, uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, please like it. Comment below what you thought of it, as well as some suggestions for other videos. Uh, subscribe, of course, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.